It's time now to focus on AI, semiconductors, and security. At the intersection of those things is CLSQ. Joining me is Carlos Morera, founder and CEO of CLSQ. So Carlos, it's been a busy week for you. Your shares went live on the NASDAQ on Wednesday. You rang the opening bell today. Shares up, what, call it six, six and a half percent right now. So congratulations and welcome. Thank you very much, a pleasure to be with you here. So we were teasing this interview by talking about post-quantum microprocessors, and I'll admit that's already a little bit above my head. So in simple terms, tell me what you do at CLSQ. So quantum is coming. We are about three to four years to have quantum computers. And once they arrive, this amazing capability, computing capability, will break every existing crypto, right? So you have to prepare microchips to be quantum ready. It means that you have already programmed the semiconductor in a way that once you have the quantum computer, the semiconductor will be able to defend the attack. Everything else will be available to be uh, compromised. So uh, imagine the consequences, right? We uh, Algorithms like RSA, like uh, triple desk, all of them will be compromised once you have quantum computers arriving. And some of them, obviously, will be in the hands of the wrong people. So uh, we need to defend the uh, IoT environment. We are connecting 7 trillion uh, chips uh, as we move forward in connecting everything to the internet. If you don't have the security on those chips, quantum computer will be able to break. So it's essential that in order to protect the infrastructure, you develop this type of next generation microchip. This is what we do in, C in CLSQ. All right, so tell us the benefits of CLSQ in terms of uh, securing this space. So imagine that you are connecting things in your house, you are connecting uh, IoT devices, your ter thermostat, your uh, smart fridge. Those devices without microchip security will be available to be hacked. And it's just enough that you have one of those devices which is unsecure, then uh, a hacker will find it and will compromise the rest of the infrastructure, whether it's in your house, whether it's in an airport, whether it's in a, in a, in a medical facility, in a hospital. So the consequences are very serious because the penetration possibilities on unsecure infrastructure is, is very, very high. Now, the market is not yet there. I mean, we are only connecting few things, like mobile phones and few things, but there is about, uh, as I mentioned before, trillions of objects that need to be connected. And the security, embedding security at the chip level is essential. Many of the objects that connect do not even have chips. Uh, uh, semiconductors provided by CLSQ are now connecting drones, security in drones, security in satellites, security in connected car, security in, in routers, security on medical implants, devices, all of them without that security have the possibility of being compromised. All right, I have to ask you about AI because of course that is the hot topic du jour of every day it seems. So how much of a growth driver is AI for you at CLSQ? So we do use AI, but maybe in a different way than normally people have been exposed to AI, because for us, AI is a transversal thing, rather than being a silo, right? In, in our technology, we need to use AI in order to uh, prevent a cyber attack happening in, a, in a, a specific device. So all the analytics, all the data that we collect, and we collect uh, exabytes of data, are then processed by AI algorithm we use as a way to define a predictability analysis, where is this object is gonna be uh, at risk, whether you need maintenance on the object, whether the object is gonna be uh, shutting down because uh, electrical failure. So all that predictability analysis is done by AI algorithm. Uh, in, in the United States, we are looking at AI as a separate thing, but AI is everywhere. The reason why we are now talking about AI and not 10 years ago, five years ago, is because now we have data. We have huge amount of data that we are able to uh, collect, uh, analyze, and use AI to analyze this data. AI will be augmented and will become much even more powerful once we will have quantum capabilities, because the quantum computers have unlimited quantum power, right? And that means that you will be able to process very complex AI algorithm processing capability, for instance, to find the new cancer drug or finding solutions for uh, environmental disasters. So, so this is the good news, is that technology is converging. You have now blockchain, AI, 
quantum IoT cybersecurity converging between themselves like uh, rivers into a lake. And there's the most efficient way to use AI when you have those other uh, integration coming into your comp company, like this is the case with CLSQ. Okay, so let's look ahead. You saw a 91% increase in first quarter revenue this year compared to 2022. So as you look ahead, how do you keep that growth going? So this is mainly uh, European. I mean, we are a French company uh, originated in France with uh, very strong penetration in Europe. But uh, obviously for us, the U.S. market is, is the, uh, a great destination, maybe a final destination. Uh, we believe semiconductors are going to grow very fast here because the United Nations has reached the conclusion, which is also the European Union conclusion, that you need to decouple the dependency on semiconductor from Asian manufacturers. I mean, you need to develop semiconductors at national level. So uh, because the demand is there, I don't think it's a question of demand. The question is how to supply to that demand semiconductor than they will be manufactured in the United States. And, and that will obviously uh, reduce the risk that we are facing now that one day, imagine Taiwan gets attacked or it's a, it's a geopolitical issue in the region, the entire semiconductor industry will be uh, shut down. And with the consequence that will have in, in the new generation of cars or the new generation of, of products. So for us to build uh, presence in the United States is a way obviously to create growth, but also a, a way to reduce reduce the uh, dependency of the United States on foreign semiconductor fabric fabs. Uh, and this is the good news is that they, there is a lot of support in the U.S. government. You have now states like Colorado and others, and they are becoming a semiconductor hubs that obviously is attracting company like us because we see that you have here in the United States the right ecosystem to get this industry flourishing. But it's essential. Nothing will happen. The, the digital transformation will not happen without semiconductors. So semiconductor is a very strategic asset that every country needs to have. All right, have to leave it there, but really appreciate you shedding some light on your company, Carlos Morera, founder and CEO of Seal SQ. Congratulations again. Great to have you. Thank you very much for your time. All the best.